Okay, this is the uh, first of what's going to be a two-part video, really. Um, and it's about a couple of programs that I found uh, interesting with a company called Sciotech. Sciotech is something I've mentioned before um, with connection with their web copy program, which is where you can just get any website on the net and you can download it onto your local computer. Um, I'm not affiliated with Sciotech in any way, shape or form, even though they're from my neck of the woods. Um, I, I don't, uh, all it is is that I think they have some some nice uh, nice tools for web designers and um, graphic designers. Uh, so something like uh, the copy tools, GIF Animator, I don't know what Jewel Rush is, I presume that's a game. Uh, slicer and Spider, which is a CSS thing, which I haven't used, but um, as I said, I've mentioned web copy before, and that's a program that you should really um, get a grips with. Very easy to use and very important. Okay, so that's uh, a little tip. The ones I'm going to be talking about is something called Sitemap Creator and Color Palette Editor. Okay, so when you go to these things, I mean, you know. When you see a sitemap, it's uh, you've seen it probably long, lots of times before. I'm just taking their example, um, and it's what you see. You know, it's it's this type of thing where it just maps out all what's on their website of of where you're at, and it's not really any use. I wouldn't think for. I would never use it for something um, HTML sitemaps. That has there's a difference between uh, what I'm going to talk about, but HTML sitemap, which this is what this is, um, on a small website, I don't think it's important whatsoever. I would never use it on a big site. I I would do. Okay, so if you're interested in this thing, sitemap creator, what a sitemap is is basically to help with a search engine optimization. Again, as I've said before, um, I'm not an expert in SEO. But I'd nor have I had any failures. Um, so what 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 you do with the sitemap is that you um, this is going to you can actually do it yourself, but it takes a lot longer. You can just do it um, by one of these generators if you like. Um, and a sitemap is something called an XM if if you don't know XML file, and you put that in your root folder or uh, online, which is basically um, something that the uh, the search engines uh, see the you know the crawl and that they crawl that type of file um, and there uh, these type of uh, programs they see mistakes as well so the, when if you've downloaded this okay uh, you'll find something like this which is uh, the interface and again it's nothing uh, out of this world it's functional okay and here you'll see um, I'll just zoom in on that. HTML, uh, ASP.NET, and XML, which is Google, Bing, etc., Yahoo, which um, you only need you, you, <coughs> you only need one of these uh, sitemaps. You don't need them for all because all the search engines are looking at the same thing. HTML page, as I've said, that's what you see in a lot of things if it's a big site. Okay, but XML that is needed on I would say every site okay so just come out of there and if you just have your any site you want it um, I'm gonna just do mine I haven't tested this at all okay on here of uh, HTTP you always need this it's, you kind of do it localized okay so you can't have a website on your local computer it won't do that it has to has to be on the online on this particular sitemap creator, and I would imagine they're all the same, really. Okay, dhtml rocks.co.uk. So, anyway, what we're doing there is we're just going to do that as a quick scan, okay? And we just scan that. And what that does is it brings uh, stuff up, uh, as you can see, the loading. And that's quite quick. There's different mac uh, depths of that, and when you start to get the three, four, it takes a long time to, to actually do. Okay, so the sitemap there is this here. All right, 
um, the pages is this th this thing here skipped um, not really sure about that but errors okay so the remote server returned an error of 404 right as I said this is done for example live if you like because I haven't you know I haven't pre-done this um, so you're seeing all my mistakes on that particular website um, okay differences preview okay so what you're saying here is a is is basically um, an XML file oh that's HTML file that um, okay that's an HTML page that is the one that you would do as again like I said on a on a bigger site okay or the one that my uh, website there is is big enough for, for something like that what we need to look at the most important part of this is XML okay so what you would do there all right is you see all these you got 79 things and that does you know the work for you all right and what you do there is there's a preview of this okay so you preview using your text editor so you've seen that and what you do there is you just go file save as and i'm just going to put this on the desktop okay so i'm just going to put in dhtml and then dot xml okay and this is going to be where it says rich text files this is going to be all files okay um if you have some experience with xml you'll know what the file looks like okay and there it is there dhtml so what you would do is you upload that to your um your server and the root thing where all your uh, html or your php files and everything like that are okay so that's what you would do with that um sorry about the phone there um anyway I'm just going to like sort of mention um, what what else as well is that you would uh, do with that is you would clear or I certainly would clear all the errors up there. Okay, so that's got about ten errors there, maybe it's a bit more. Um, I would have to clear that up because I hear messy stuff. I like sites to be proper. Um, I'm just going to mention another one. I mean that's basically all what a sitemap is, and this is free. Um, all the uh, Sciotech um, software is free, although they would like you to donate if you use it a lot. Okay. Uh, another one which I use quite often, and this is a bought one, but you can actually, I think I only paid about seven quid for it or something. Um, this is another one. This is slightly more advanced and very, very well worth money. It's called Fast Sitemap Maker, and it's by a software company called Supernova. Okay. Um, and it has things like priority which is 0.5 um, and stuff like that it's uh, I mean if anybody wants to know that and these things here daily change frequency daily I wouldn't do that I would be weekly um, but yeah so if, if people want us to go into depth with sitemaps uh, quite willing to do that as well um, but this is this is like sort of um you know if, if you're doing quite a few sites although i think it's actually free up to a point okay so i'll put all the links on um on the description as always um but i hope you enjoyed this video and the next video i want to talk about this is again a sciotech palette editor it's called uh okay so i'll catch you in the next video